Aki Tara here. Welcome back to Aki's Pixel Pets. Finally getting back into the swing of things after sitting on research for months now. Well, okay, maybe a year now, I suppose. And what better way to start back than by looking at some Pokemon? Pukamuku, to be specific. Pukamuku, aka Namakobushi, is classified as a sea cucumber Pokemon. Like real sea cucumbers, they are benthic feeders, usually staying put in a favorite spot such as a current to feed. And apparently Pukamuku will stay put and starve if it runs out of food. What? Okay, that's weird, but perhaps this is more just a waiting game rather than the Pokemon just giving up and lying somewhere to die. There are some species of sea cucumber that will enter a dormant state called estivation. This occurs when temperatures rise and they are at risk of drying out, including the rising of water temperatures and getting washed up on the beach. During this time, they will stop feeding, their metabolisms will slow, their gut atrophy, and they lose weight. Suddenly, that tradition of Alolan people chucking any thin-bodied Pukamuku back into the sea doesn't seem so strange. Let's look at that new ability, Innards Out. Being Pukamuku's signature ability, Innards Out causes damage to the opponent equal to the amount of HP Pukamuku had when it fainted. And if you know anything about sea cucumbers, or if you've ever seen Jackass, then you know exactly what I'm talking about. I know what it looks like. Stop it. Stop it right now, perverts. Those stringy looking appendages are not their guts or intestines, but are tubules located at the bottom of their respiratory tree called cuvierian tubules. Sea cucumbers can also expel their intestines and gonads, but that's usually only in extreme cases. When threatened, sea cucumbers will violently contract their bodies, causing evisceration of the cloaca, allowing these tubules to be ejected out of the anus. These tubules entangle and stick to the offending source, and in some species can break off, allowing the sea cucumber to slowly crawl away. But don't worry, these grow back. It just takes 17 days to five weeks. It just depends on the species. But the innards out ability causes damage and could even kill the opponent. Could these cuvierian tubules do the same? Um, yes. These tubules are actually laced with holothurin, a highly toxic saponin found in members of holothuridae. This compound has similar foaming properties as soap and causes hemolysis, the rupturing of red blood cells. Studies on the effects of holothurin on fish have shown that waterborne exposure to this can kill a fish within two hours and when administered via cuvierian tubules within five minutes. But if those tubules are sticky, why are they not sticking to the sea cucumber? Well, that is still up for analysis due to adhesion strength varying between different surfaces, but it is said that these tubules are unable to stick to the sea cucumber due to the mucus that covers their body. And just like the sea cucumber, Pukamuku is said to be covered with a slippery, viscous fluid that has a moisturizing effect, and that the people of Alola use this fluid for skincare products. That's interesting, seeing as sea cucumber extract, called gamut, Game it. I'm not really sure how to pronounce that, is used to make lotions, facial masks, teas, dietary supplements, oils, and topical ointments that are believed to cure various skin ailments, small wounds, as well as ulcers and other stomach issues when consumed. And those are not the only ailments this extract can handle. Gamut oil contains a compound called frondicide A, which multiple studies have shown is a cancer-killing machine, effective against killing cancerous cells in the pancreas, breast tissue, skin, lung, colon, liver, prostate, tumors, as well as cervical cancer and leukemia, both in vitro and in vivo. Frondicide A inhibits growth of tumors and cancerous cells by obstructing the development of new blood vessels within tumors, as well as denying certain proteins. By preventing the activation of these proteins, frondicide A also inhibits the migration to and invasion of other cellular regions by these cancerous cells. So there it is. Our cute little seemingly lazy Pikamuku is not only a stubborn opponent that will take you down with it, but it will also give you an amazing complexion and take out cancer cells. No wonder the Alolan people look so young. But before you guys go out and start taking sea cucumber extract, please speak with your doctor first about possible allergic reactions to seafood products. Seriously. Starved for more animal influences? Check out my other videos to see the real life flying squids of Splatoon or the tiny little clauncher that packs a serious punch, or pinch. And make sure to subscribe and enable notifications with that little bell if you want to learn more about our amazing pixelated pets. Check you later.